Hi you guys, this is Yogi here and we're going to speak about the eclipse coming up on the 21st of August. So there's two sides to these eclipses, right? One is the negative side, one is the positive side. The negative aspect of it is that it is going to cause trouble. It's going to make a lot of negative energy because the sun is going to be blocked. Sun is the energy of the world. Uh, nothing exists, nothing grows, nothing survives without the sun. So when we block this energy, a lot more carbon monoxide and dioxide is in the air at that time, but also a lot of negative energy because we block the sun. Um, and that goes if we block the moon as well, because the sun is the hot energy, the moon is the cool energy. Uh, we have that hot and cold, male, female, positive, negative within us as well. And a lot more negative energy at that time comes up. So you're going to have to watch out for that. And it's not just on that day. It means for a month or two or three, it can affect you. Uh, but here's the good news. So there's some bad news. Here's some good news. It's an amazing time to do your spiritual practice, doing it every day and doing it as long as you can. So this is where the holy men and the yogis, they teach that if you do your practice really well at this time and a little bit more extended, uh, more focused and really deeply into it, you can get 5, 10, 15, you know, a thousand times more energy than you really would at a time uh, where the eclipse isn't. So it really amplifies your practice up and amps it up a lot uh, when you do it. And it gives you a lot of negative energy in all your life because, you know, it's affecting the earth and everybody in it. So to counter it, really, spiritual practice is the answer. That means every day you do your practice and you keep going and you don't stop. And anyway, you should be doing your practice anyway, but at the time of the eclipse, it's really going to be way more uplifting to you if you do your practice really vigilantly for an extended period of time and you keep doing it after that as well because remember this eclipse is going to have that effect for a month, two months, three months, four months, even longer so keep going with it and uh, just be very vigilant of your energy and what's happening with other people as well because there's going to be a lot of aggression during this time. Um, we can see it in the world leaders we can see it with the people, uh, you're going to feel it with a lot of people. There's going to be aggressive energy around. So you're going to have to keep cool. This is where you use Ayurveda. The foods that you eat, the lifestyle that you have, the interactions, everything needs to be cooler than hotter. So veer more towards the cool than the hot and you'll come out of it okay. So I'm going to be doing the same. And my body runs a little colder so I can take a little bit, a bit more of the heat, but still I'm affected by it. So I'm going to have to do my extra practice as well. So if you have any questions, drop them down on Facebook. I'll answer them for you, for you guys in the Inner Yogi community. Uh, we're going to discuss this because these are the topics we discuss in there and uh, we get some answers. So namaste, take good care, do your practice, watch out and uh, be very vigilant because things are going to happen and you want to come out on top. Take good care.